Hi everyone and welcome to a video I'm doing in Autodesk Maya. Today I'm going to be showing you how I modelled a knot, a metal knot on a bike or some other mechanism. So to begin with I'm going to make a cube. like so and I'm going to scale this between the blue and the red coordinate to about that big and now I'm going to enter edge mode come up here select cut and I'm going to hold control and put in an edge loop there and an edge loop there. Now I'm going to press cube to exit out of the tool. You can select. I'm going to double click this edge and I'm going to hold shift and double click this edge. Now I'm going to scale again and I'm going to move it on the blue coordinate and this will give me an eight side, a six sided shape or an eight-sided shape, I should say. It's quite a big eight-sided shape, though. So I'm going to do it again. Um, you know what? It'll, it'll do. It'll do. Now I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to press D and this will duplicate my object. Now I'm going to scale in to about there. I'm going to move my camera by holding Alt and left mouse button and I'm going to scale up. Right, and now I'm going to select this object, hold shift, select that object. Now I'm going to magnify. And now I'm going to go to mesh, booleans, and difference. And that will give us a nice little hole for the knot. Right, and now I'm going to go into face mode, select this face, this face, rotate the camera, I'm going to select all the faces on the inside. And I'm going to delete them. Don't ask me why I need to delete them. I'm not sure myself. But what I found is this only works if I bridge them. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select this tab. like so and I'm going to bridge this 
episode now that's done I'm gonna go back into object mode I'm gonna select the cut tool and I'm just gonna hold control and I'll go to add in some edge loops I think I'll add in I'll say I'll leave that as is I'll add in two edge loops go back into face mode and you want to select in fact I probably would have had enough room to add one more edge loop I think I'm going to add in one more This can be a bit fiddly Right, now that I've done that, I can go around to the face mode. Select that face, double click. Select that face, double click. And select, not that. If you want to get rid of it, press control, hold it, left click. Now I'm going to hold shift, click that face and double click that one that should be all I need to select so now I'm going into scale mode with W and I'm going to press ctrl E to extrude and that did not work for some reason Let me zoom out and see. Oh, I press Control S by mistake. Control E. Yeah, that's working now. Gonna scale in. And that will be a knot. Now, what I'm going to do is texture it next. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select, oh, first of all, go back into object mode and I'm going to go to the attribute editor and I want to go to these arrows and just go to the end where it says Lambert 1 then where it says colour you're going to want to select the check box next to it this will bring up a list of file types you can add there I'm gonna go for file I'm gonna select this folder Come over here and I'll be able to select one. Luckily I've got texture see that would be perfect for this. So if I go into my UV, I've got my not texture. And as you can see it's not shown up yet. So what I'm going to do is press loading 
it's not loading my mask just broke for a minute I'm going to press 6 to apply it you can also press 5 and they'll hide it again but I won't show it so I'll press 6 now if you look around the object it's slightly see through but it's all there as you can see okay so that's my video on how to make a see-through knot I wonder if there's a way I can make it less transparent let's see shall we so if I go to my attribute editor select my shape Yeah, I can change the transparency of it. No, I can't. Huh. That's strange. But I can change the ambient colour. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm keeping it like that. That looks amazing. I'll keep changing this. I wonder what it looks like. Fully ambient. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep up playing around with these. Oh, I'm going to leave it like that just to show that it's meant to be silver. And it's a little bit harder to tell that it's see-through now. And I quite like that. Oh, I've done myself here. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, that'll be the end of my video. It's only a short one because Maya is so much easier. So, thank you all for watching. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video thank you and bye